you don't know what youth and adult partnership, it means a collaboration between a young person and an adult. See, we figured that if the youth brings creativity and energy, then the adult could bring wisdom and knowledge. When I walked in and I saw that energy, I was very attracted to that. And when we all got to sit down in groups and decide what was our mission. The Kellogg Leadership for Community Change project, the overall goal was to build youth and adult partnerships to advance just communities. There's always been youth mentoring. There have been adults who have spent time um, educating youth and teaching them to take leadership in the future. But youth and adults as partners right now, that's a brand new concept. The youth really haven't had a voice in the decision making process um, in our community. And so we wanted to change that. Eddie looks at things in an adult perspective. I look at it in a youth perspective. So you have those two different perspectives coming together. I heard that they gave out $300 stipends. That's why I wanted to be in a program. I finally realized that it's not all about the money. It's about what we need to get out there to the community, what we need to do in the education system, what should have been done a long time ago. Our group of 25 young people and adults said that education should be the number one priority um, for change in the community. So we're just getting started. One of the things that we're doing is a tutoring program at the Boys and Girls Club Teen Center. Why well, we can't do that? I know that. Well, you're not supposed to know it all, right? It's about changing the community for the better and doing it with the, the people that are gonna inherit the community. What I really expect out of this community is more parents to get involved in their child's education. If we don't have those parents involved, the kids aren't gonna be involved. And that's where KLCCP comes in. And we decided to go ahead and do a parenting workshop that actually deals with the college application process. A lot of times, you know, we think the kids can do it by themselves. So I'm really glad to see that you're here. Getting them educated on the application process for college, the financial aid process for college, but also getting them to understand how to talk to the, the teachers, to talk to the administration. You should have a relationship with that high school counselor. They should know you by first name. Is there any other uh, grants out there besides the financial aid that might can be free to them? And that's what the parenting program is about, is getting parents empowered. Okay. okay, thanks for coming in. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Thank and you. And good luck. Thanks. All right. I need all the luck I can get. All right, right. I know that feeling. The population of Benton Harbor is roughly 13,000. You know, many people say, I'm going to leave. And a lot of times they have good reason to leave because there aren't any job opportunities. Unemployment rate for the city now is 35 to 40 percent. The median household income is probably somewhere around 13 or 14,000. This bridge connects St. Joe and Benton Harbor. St. Joe is about 95% white. Some people dub it as the longest bridge in the world because of the infamous history between the two cities. Having lived there for several years, I know that the racial divide is very much still here. There's nothing more important than fixing that. We all have the same issues, food, shelter, clothes, and all this stuff. That's all you need to worry about. We don't need to worry about all this, I don't like her because she's black. All youth want the same thing. Most of the youth in our fellowship want a change in the education system. They tell us what they need. They always tell us what they need. It's in the fact that a lot of times we don't listen, and that's where, that's where things go awry. It is so hard to get out of a situation if you don't get the education. The dropout rate for our high school is very high. There were 600 high school age kids who were not currently enrolled and who were just out on the streets. That's just gonna trickle down and impact the city in negative ways. In 2003, we had what was called a riot. The young man who was killed in a police chase youth were really the catalyst for the unrest that was going on and so that was a point where people said you know maybe we need to listen to the youth and find out where is the anger coming from our youth always complain there's nothing to do um i'm asking like city officials
community organizations to partnership together and effectively build this, build this community. They understand that if anything is going to be changed in this community, that they are going to have to be the agents of change. When they come to the teen center, they have the power to change a program. If they don't like it, they can shape it and mold it into what they want to mold it and then they will be encouraged to do so. I was the one that came up with this idea of the big bag, educating the community on how important voting is. This big bash thing is a youth and adult partnership. We are hosting this event to hold a three on three basketball tournament, um, a talent show to showcase some of the talented young people and adults in the community. And at the end, we're going to close it off with a mayoral debate. Uh, the mayor election is coming up next week, and this will be their final debate. In our city, it's a huge problem with voting. What will you do to make it so that there can be a place where youth and adults work together, not as in a job, but as in so that the youth can learn from the adults and the adults can learn from the youth to make our community better as a whole? But we need a, a state-of-the-art youth recreation center. You answered, you know, what we want to do for the youth in the community. We want to know how the youth and adult can come together to make the community a better place. You didn't answer that. What we saw tonight was pretty unprecedented. That goes back to the amount of respect that our young people have garnered in the community. This project is about individuals looking within themselves and saying, my opinion counts, but my opinion only counts is if I'm willing to work with someone else. And that's what this whole project is about, is bringing together youth and adults to work on what they believe is important in their community. Man, Gentry is, he's just like a role model to me. He has helped change my life. I'm a sophomore at Lake Michigan College. I've been going to school nonstop since I got out of high school. 100% of our seniors last year that were in the fellowship graduated from high school. And in this community, that is huge. The Kellogg Foundation has the Leadership for Community Change series. There is the Lummi in Linden, Washington. There is uh, Chelsea, Massachusetts, the Roca. There's Big Creek People in Action in West Virginia. There's Mikasa in Denver, Colorado. There's us here in Benton Harbor. Five different communities, very diverse in racial makeup and economic makeup, but all learning about youth and adult partnerships. It's a family within our fellowship. I love those people. And if Five Sites has a vision of creating youth and adult partnership, imagine how effective that can be. Every entity in this, this whole world can come together and have one vision. The number one thing that has happened over the two years that I've seen is how our young people are role modeling how to do community work to adults. Oh yes, we are role models. And now I find that when I'm in a room and it's all adults, I'm looking for the young people because I just, I want to hear their voice so bad from being in this project. Ben Harbor is like a diamond in the rough. There is so much potential in this city and before I die, I would have guaranteed to have chipped away, chiseled some away some of that rough. When you talk about a role model, I think we can be a role model community um, for coming out of some dire circumstances and coming out shining. And I will be here until I see that diamond is shining. So I spend my time teaching little kids how to read. I know my future, one day I will bleed. Teaching kids how to read doesn't mean I'm a square. It's just me, I'm aware for the future. Prepare.